India's first national lockdown last year sparked an exodus of migrant workers from cities to rural areas. As Mumbai begins another lockdown, some laborers have again left for home. There's also growing calls for more to be done to help protect workers. Rebecca Bundan reports. Labourers Kamlesh and Ram were left without income when the workshop they make bangles for closed during India's strict lockdown. Struggling to get by, the two friends decided to flee Mumbai together. The trains had stopped, so they got on their bikes and travelled more than 1,600 kilometres to their home villages in the northern state of Uttar Pradesh. Both of them have disabilities. <laughs> They're back in Mumbai now, but business is down and their earnings have almost half to less than $100 a month. They're not alone in their struggles. According to the last census in 2011, there are 450 million Indian migrants in the country as people move from one state to another in search of work. Many of them live a hand-to-mouth existence. Millions of migrant labourers were plunged into a dire situation when India's lockdown last year was announced just hours before it came into effect. We didn't make a note of this, you know, that such a large number of migrant workers are moving from one place to other place. This came into limelight only during the pandemic, you know. And see, unfortunately, what happens, you know, these all the migrant laborers, they work on an informal. The informal means, you know, they don't have a guarantee of employment. They don't have any appointment letter with them. Uh, they don't have that uh, if there is no work still, they will be paid. If there is a work, they will be paid. There is no work, they will not be paid, you know. There is no uh, benefits like PF or ESI or pension or medical benefits. Steel factory worker Siaram Gotam is having a tough time. He has six daughters and is the family's breadwinner. Following a surge in new COVID-19 cases, the state of Maharashtra announced new restrictions. Some migrants have already left the cities for fear of being stranded again. Authorities are trying to tackle the issues. The Indian government is working on a national action plan for migrant workers. The details of this are yet to be finalised, but the idea is that it will address the major challenges migrants face. In addition, the Labour Bureau plans to conduct a nationwide survey on migrant labourers. Many workers are undocumented, which made it difficult for them to get state aid. This has prompted the government to invest in building a database to register hundreds of millions of informal labourers who help keep the country's economy moving. It's also implementing a scheme to allow migrant workers to claim their food ration benefits in any state. And labour code reforms came into effect on the 1st of April. But experts say that these fall short and do not include a much needed universal social security system. So the government should come up with a, a basic security in finance and food system because these two are required for any human being to survive. Uh, during a pandemic or uh, on a regular basis who are unskilled because their jobs are not secure they always have to be dependent on someone else so the ideal and the best cheapest option is to train their children into vocational training education may be a longer term solution to lift people out of this cycle of poverty but for Kamlesh and Ram the hope is that with the plight of migrant laborers fully exposed steps being taken by the government will help to make their journey easier Rebecca Bundan CNA Mumbai